All right. We were uh, sharing some brilliance from Joe Biden. He's very upset at what the report had to say oh, yeah, about his upset. mental competence. Special counsel Robert Hur released that uh, Justice Department report that found he was, uh, well, that he He's willfully to hit, retained to... classified materials, correct, yeah. as a, as a mm-hmm. private citizen, but... Uh, he forgets. He's basically facts unfit for trial. Memory, just there's just not enough there to. We, there's mm-hmm. no point to it. And apparently, you have to be a lot sharper for trial than you do to be president of the United <laughs> States of America. Well, I guess that's the deal. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't there so, to prove his uh, fitness to be president. No, that's right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things he couldn't come up with is where Bo got his rosary, and he was trying yeah, to you know, say it and stopped right. And- when they first asked him, it wasn't uh, any of their damn business. Well, you know what? You make it our business yeah, by right. constantly Referring bringing up Bo. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that's why I thought Hunter's book should be titled I'm Not Bo. That would have been uh, great. I mean, I know. That would have been great. Uh, actually, I would have. I would have been even a, more of a fan. I would have had a little bit of respect for him. I know. <laughs> but, he, but he didn't. But he, not only does he bring Bo up all the time, he tries to make it out with Gold Star he sure families he wants as if Bo Gold died Star in Iraq. Adjacency he does. Bad. He does. And he'll say anything and do anything to get it. And it's pathetic and it's despicable. Uh, but here he was talking about uh, the classified documents. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter. With my ghostwriter. I did not. Guarantee you did they not. They said you did. But the special <laughs> counsel said it. Well, no, they did not say that. Okay. Yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Mr. President, let me answer your question. The fact of the matter is, what I didn't want repeated, mm-hmm. I didn't want him to know, and I didn't read it to him, was I had written a long memorandum to President Obama why we should not be in, this, in Afghanistan. And I was of this, uh, multiple pages. And so what I was referring to, I said classified. I should have said it was should be private because it was a contact between the president and the vice president. Wait, you don't what was going pause on. it for a second. That, you don't know the difference between classified and private? Really? That's a problem, too, right there. If you can't, if you said classified, then that means classified. Sure does. Right? When you're hearing that from the President of the United States. Plus, he couldn't, it said in the report, he couldn't remember when he was Vice President, so I'm not sure that he remembers this accurately. Exactly. All right, let's hear the rest of this. this is referring to it was not classified was information not classified. in that document. <laughs> okay. Uh, Man, does he get angry he at does. the drop of a hat? He's just completely out. He can't It's control almost as if that's anymore. a symptom of something. <laughs> Almost, almost. It's almost as if that's a symptom. I don't it, know what almost. it is. I'm not a doctor. No, you're not. So, you're not. So maybe you better shut played, up. Okay. Maybe you just better shut up right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. It's it's uh, stunning to me. <laughs> it is. Where we find ourselves in 2024. It's absolutely stunning to me. Um, but... He, as he talks about the classified documents, later on in this, he blames his staff for the documents. This is uh, well, he takes 20, full responsibility. Twenty three, but takes right, full responsibility. Sure, he does. Here he is doing just that. You take responsibility for at least being careless with classified material. I take responsibility for not having seen exactly what my staff was doing. It goes into <laughs> Unreal. Uh, that's awesome. Things that appeared in my garage, things that came out of my home, things, things that, that were moved, were moved not by me, but my staff. In his garage. But my staff. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. I he just full, threw his staff under them, the bus. All of them. I, I take full responsibility my for not gosh. overseeing the do people enough. Wow. Okay, so your staff just decided, hey, you know where would be a really good place for these classified documents? Joe Biden's garage, <laughs> right next to his Corvette. And just stack him behind the vet. That's fine. Don't and worry. This would be about a good it. place for him. I've got. We. You know what? The closet at the university what a is sack. all full. So just move right. the rest of the garage. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, put him in the garage and uh, put him by the Corvette. He's not even looking. He won't even know. Incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> Again, he has never taken responsibility. He's never been accountable for anything he's ever That's done. That's for sure.
anything ever and he's not called on it by the media at all some somebody just asked him do you feel are you accountable for any of this no he just said no, no. I'm not. My staff did that. I should I have watched them better? Yes. Yeah, because they're incompetent fools. Yes. But uh it's their fault. Yeah. Are you serious? Wow. This guy's the worst. He is the absolute worst. Um he was also asked why why he should run rather than somebody else. He just well, you'll hear it in the question here. Mr. President, for months when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many me. American we people did. have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. Yes. That is they, your judgment. They, they, that is your is judgment. Yes, she's, that is not the judgment concerns. of the press. They she is the press. They concerns about your mental acuity. They <laughs> so, say that you are too you know old. That. Mr. President, Apparently in December, not. you told me that you believe there are many other Democrats who could defeat Donald Trump. So why does it have to be you now? What, what right. is your answer to that question? Because I'm the most qualified person in this country to be President of the United mm. States and finish the job I started. Well, we're really oh. in trouble if he's the most yes. qualified person. And I don't want him to oh finish the gosh. job he started. No, I don't either. Because that means the, the we're end done. of the as republic. An, as a nation, we're done. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. It sounds like he's fighting for this job. It doesn't sound it sure like does. he's going to step down but at I, all. Will they force him to I, somehow? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But he's just been cleared of the classified document thing. Uh, maybe they make a deal with him on the Ukraine stuff and the China stuff and the payouts he got. And Maybe maybe they make a deal with him on, on Hunter to, where they right. threaten him. You know, we're going to go after this. Or you can step down. And uh, everything goes away, and it goes away. Just goes away. We just forget. I mean, that's possible. We just forget I guess about it. we forget all about your corruption. Mm -hmm. We just pretend like that never happened. We'll ignore it if you just move on, okay? Because we can't afford you. Anymore. But if you go back to Delaware and start opening your mouth, mm -hmm. then all bets are off. <laughs> We're gonna shut this down. But right now, it sure doesn't sound like he's preparing. No, it doesn't. Now, to th step now again, down. this was right after the report, right? So he's out there now trying to prove that he's not what the report says. And he's doing the opposite. Correct, which the is the problem, opposite. right? Because that's the only way to do this is for him to go out and do a no malarkey tour around the country mm -hmm. with this stupid no malarkey bus again and prove that he's okay. Mm -hmm. And that can't happen because well, he's, he's not, not up for it. No, he's no. not capable. He's really not. I don't know if the medication has worn off. I, I, maybe it's not effective anymore. Or maybe he's just degraded to the point where he's not capable of of uh, putting two sentences together. I don't know. I don't know. But he's he's in bad shape. I mean, I, I watched, we're going to talk about it here in a little while, that Vladimir Putin interview uh, with Tucker Carlson. And set aside all the stuff that we're going to talk about with what Putin said in the interview. Mm -hmm. Um I the first thing I noticed was that there's no way. No way. He can't even do a three minute pre Super Bowl interview. No, there's right. There's no way Joe Biden is sitting down with Tucker Carlson or anyone and being asked questions for two and a half hours. That no, no that way. Can't happen. Mm-mm. No, he couldn't do the softball Super Bowl interview. No way. Which I didn't want him to do anyway. <laughs> well, that, that's not my point. Though. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I know. Um, but he was asked about his memory, and uh, here's what happened there. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Oh, man. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this no. country back on its feet. Oh, my gosh. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out. is your memory, and can you continue as president? He's pissed. My memory is so bad, I let you speak. What a jerk. That's, uh, that's, that's what your memory has gotten worse? Wow. <laughs> what an <laughs> angry old man he is. It's just terrible. That's terrible. And he thought he was going to get Laughter yeah, there? Yeah, thought it was funny. They no. didn't think it was funny. No. I mean, there might have been one person, that, <laughs> a little nervous laughter there, but that uh, was not appreciated by no, the press. No, it was not. They're not messing around in, in this press conference. They're not messing around with it because I think they understand this is serious. 
You're talking about the president of the United States, the leader of the free world, the commander in chief of our armed forces. This isn't funny anymore. No, it is not. And it never was, but I mean, we laughed along with you for a while. <laughs> now we see that can't happen anymore. Clear, I, I didn't it really laugh happen. along with this. No, we didn't. We didn't. We were we were just upset about it from the beginning. I, from the beginning. Asking how people could see it and be made aware of it. I mean, it's right there in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, the other thing he did last night was confuse Egypt with Mexico. Well, this is good I stuff. Mean, this is good stuff. Nobody could read a map anymore. That's true. As you know, initially, <sighs> right. the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open Wait. up the gate to Wait, allow who? I'm sorry, humanitarian Cici? material to get in. Uh, I talked to him. You talked I convinced him okay. to open the gate. Of Mexico. Talk to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. Wait, now we're okay. up to Israel? Well, wait. Okay. Okay. We were opening gates with Sisi in Mexico, now, and then we were opening gates with Netanyahu in Israel. In my home, I have a, couple, sorry, of, I, a couple of globes. Okay. And uh, on those globes is, uh, you know, a map of the earth, mm -hmm. and, and it shows the, you know, the oceans and the continents. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I don't have one yet. That has Mexico next to Israel, and I. Uh, oh, you got the old one, where Mexico is just like thousands and thousands of miles away. Oh, from Israel I guess and I have the to Gaza get a new Strip. One. I'm gonna update my <laughs> globes. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Where do you go with that? Yeah, I don't. Where do you go with it? I don't. From that to the uh, all the stuff with Helmut Kohl. Okay, he just oh, recently yeah. talked to that Helmut Kohl, awesome. who's been dead since 2017. <laughs> Who hasn't been president or uh, chancellor uh, of Germany since 1998. And Francois Mitterrand of France, right. who's been dead since 1996. And uh, uh, he talked to both those guys right after he became president. So. I mean, even KJP, when asked about Mitterrand, was like, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> right, because okay. there's no way there's to no and make it look like it's okay.